I've uh, referred to, uh, it's called Beads, and it's the perspective of a, a girl in, in one of the industrial school, Beads. When the wire ends pricked our fingers, the sisters urged, we think of Jesus, and how little was our suffering by comparison. We threaded bead on bead to make a decade at a time of our time here, ten years gone, along with songs we sang in choir, as if our soaring voices could lift us also upwards to that other world, from where the swan had come, crash landing in the yard, off course, beautiful and stunned, before taking flight and taking off again, wings still beating in our ugly duckling hearts. We made our fathers and Hail Marys, glory bees, and wondered where our own mothers might be, and what we had done wrong to end up here, standing in a line on freezing mornings, our sodden bedsheets draped over our heads, unholy ghosts who saw through tear scald and the wet stench of ammonia, the other darker stains of older girls, and were afraid of where we next would bleed. Spend a lot of time writing about writing, you need to get out of it. <laughs> and um, so when I decided that I was spending too much time writing about writing, I decided I'd start playing golf, and well, that wasn't necessarily an unqualified success. I remember uh, on the drive home from golf, which was actually the best drive I had of the entire day, um, I remember thinking how similar uh, golf and poetry are. So this is called poetry, page 34, this is called poetry. And it's for all the people who've had the misfortune to play golf with me. Poetry. The dark nights at the driving range. The early starts, sun singing off the dew. The shudder, standing up to open ground on the first tee. The many ways of being wrong. Hooked, sliced, topped, shanked, pulled. <laughs> the floundering for hours in bunkers and still not getting out. The lost balls. The prizes everyone else wins. <laughs> the drinking. The yardage, working out how far to go. The ones that start off looking great but end up short. The shots that try to do too much. The no walls. The two foot putts that you still miss. The yips. And sometimes the little click when things go right. The sweet sound that keeps you coming back. The process of engraving onto um, ebony, usually the or ivory, the, the, often the tooths of whales, and this was a, a process that was carried out by sailors. Um, and I'm going to dedicate this one to Michelin. Oh. Thanks, Michelin. Scrimshaw. Among the twisted innards, shock of crimson, he found this: a pause, mid flens, to tuck into the pocket of the leaky oilskin he'd be drowned in later the little stumpy tusk, a hundred in that fearsome head, a tooth for every cask of vicious ooze becoming suds lathering a widow's hands or oil soaking through wick, the hurricane lamp flickering beside him, nights on deck, on watch, boards sagging under the leviathan dead, etching, scratching out, as I do now this story, clouds and masts, the tiny whaler following through waves a plume of foam engraved on this keepsake I make that you may keep when I am all at sea, so far from home and so much water, as I chase down the latest poem that briefly surfaces off starboard to shouts, quivering blades, before descending once again into the unfathomable, a deep darker than ink, or any marks I might set down tonight creak of moonlit rigging, the songs of long dead sailors carrying on a wind up from the south, salt gust on these chapped lips that long for yours. <laughs>